Welcome to the IDR Solutions YouTube channel. Today I will be demonstrating two methods on how to convert TIFF images to PDF files in Java. The core Java API does not have this capability, so this cannot be done without the use of external libraries. I have set up an environment to demonstrate this. For simplicity's sake, I have all of the imports that I will be using already prepared. I will be using a generic try-catch statement around all of these examples. Please use more appropriate exception handling in your own code. The first method I'm going to show you is by using the iText 7 PDF library. This is free to try out, and if you follow the rules of the AGPL, it will be also free to use. Details on the AGPL and how to install the library are available in the description below. First, we want to create image data from the input TIFF file. To do this, we need the image data class, the image data factory class, and the input file object. You want to get the URL from the input file and put that through the create method of image data factory and that loads the image data. Next, we want to create a PDF writer from the output files and then use that PDF writer to create a new PDF document, which is the root of the PDF document. After this, we want to make a document from the PDF document object and then an image from the image data object. After we do this, we add the image into the document and then we close the document. This converts the original TIFF image into a PDF. The second method is with our commercial product, JDeli. To read and write quite simply, you can load it into a buffered image with jdeli.read method using the input file. And then we can write it out into a PDF with the PDF encoder class. We then use encoder.write with the buffered image and the output file and the conversion is complete. Alternatively, if you want to use our more specialized decoder, you can use the TIFF decoder class, which for reading, you will need to convert the input file into random access file. After doing this, you use the decoder.read, and then finally, you encode the PDF with the PDF encoder and encoder.write to the output file. If you are interested in converting a multi-page TIFF into a multi-page PDF, you can do so with our PDF encoder class directly. After initializing the PDF encoder, use encoder.write with the input TIFF file and the output PDF file. After running this method, the conversion is complete. As for reasons, for choosing either method. iText has more capabilities on editing PDFs. If you're interested in more than just outputting the converted TIFF, this might be of interest. As for reasons for choosing either method, iText has more capabilities on editing PDFs. If you're interested in more than just outputting the converted TIFF, this might be of interest. JDALI has more capabilities in image processing with wider support on various supported image file formats, color spaces, types of compression, and byte ordering. Depending on your project, you will know which one is more suited to you. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. All additional information on how to install and set up systems are all in the description, as well as other links that might be useful.